Right, here I am. <sighs> so this is... I deleted the other thing because it didn't really work, did it? Because I need to be on camera for these things to work. Sebastian, hi Sebastian. How are you getting on anyway? Can you hear me okay? The ex shipment Ugh. Ex excrement, excrement, ex shipment Anyway, did you manage to get into your new social housing place? I'm going to roll up a rolly up. This isn't really working for me, to be fair. This is a bit too... Uh, wonky. God, do you remember I used to call myself Winky Wonky? Do you remember? That's one of my uh, vlog channels years ago. So I'm here with Andre. This is. I thought I'd do a Ask Jason thing. You know, just. For those of you that follow what I do, um, oh, okay. Sebastian says the moving is set for the first of June, so I thought I'd just do this. Sebastian, can you stay with me for the ref for the entirety of this live broadcast, please? Listen, I've got one person watching, please. And I'm gonna schmalk. Sean McGill Hass is watching. Hi Sean, how you doing? This is just a. Uh, oh, now I think you're gone again. This is just a. Uh, Sebastian says, "Am I lonely? No, I'm not. I'm never lonely. I've got Andre. How could I've been lonely when I've got Andre with me?" I'll light a cigarette. Well, first of all, um, the question from Sebastian Kinitis, Kin Kinikos Tinnitus, or whatever his name is, said, why are you smoking? I've said 6,000 times on record that I want to stop. Well, I haven't said 6,000 times. Um, things have been a little bit uh, difficult emotionally at times recently so it hasn't been the right time to stop but I don't smoke a lot so I'm not smoking all day long and I only smoke tobacco because if I smoked cigarettes I'd have no money for food. So, you know, I spend £10 a week or £12 a week on tobacco. That's kind of where I am with that. So what I thought... The problem with your... Hey, come on, Dre. Hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? What? Come here. I'm trying to get him. What are you doing? I'm trying to get Andre, don't worry. My hand's still broken. As you can see. Uh, I can't read what you said. Don't ask me about my self-discipline. I am not the guy to big mouth you have done fuck done not much about my body. I am not cutting down on sugar. So I am 
but because I've lost weight. I've lost weight in the last four months since before Christmas. So I weighed 98 kilos in December. Oh, caught him. I weighed 98 kilos in December. And last time I was weighed, which was, I think by my doctor or the nurse, yeah, doctor, when they told me my cholesterol was too high in December. And that was, I think, last month. And I weighed 92 kilos. So I lost weight. Well, Sebastian, I'm not a chubby elderly. I'm not an elderly man. I'm 47 years old. That is not elderly. It's elderly to a child, but you're not a child. Technically. You're not officially. I mean, you're over 18. You're not a child. Mentally, I'm not sure. <laughs> Andre, don't say that. What do you say? He might, that might make him, maybe he does do things like that to cheese. But it's none of our business, is it? Say hello to Uncle Sebastian. Hello, Uncle Poo Poo Man. Hello. 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 He's so wibbly and wobbly. I am not mentally a kid. No kid can ever be that perverse and sick. That would be horrible. I don't know, have you seen the news? Oh. I don't even know why I'm doing this live session because I should be making a recording really. I've only made one recording today. I need to make some more. This is really just a one-on-one -on -one conversation between us two, isn't it? I wonder if anybody else is there. Oh dear. Andre, stop, stop it, stop it. Hello, whoever's just joined the conversation. Oh, I've got to deal with him now, so I'm going to have to end this because he's scratching the carpet, which means he's going to disturb the neighbours, which means I'm going to have to chuck him out the window. If you can see my hand. Compared to that one, can you see how much further down the knuckles there, the knuckle here is all the way down there. Can you see? Even there, that's as far as I can bend it. If I bend it like that, I don't know if you can see the difference. The knuckles there, really. Um, I didn't have the bandage on or anything for about a day. Did I enjoy your recent Skype messages? No. Um, but it's weird how it's actually a bit wonky as well. I didn't realize that. So there's now a big, it's a bit lumpy now compared to the other one, if you can see. But that might be because I'm pulling them together. I think if I pull them together, no. It is a little bit deformed now, but that's all right. It's just the way it is. But uh, it's just really weird the way it's just a big, big thing there. 
once I can make a fist, I'll be able to get more of an idea of what it's like, what's really the damage that's been done. But it's just, it's weird because I've broken his hand twice that I know of officially. And that knuckle there, it stands out so much compared to that one, if you can see. So I think I must have broken that one at some point when I was younger. So Sebastian, that time when you broke my hand when I was when you was on Facebook. I had a dream where I felt so attacked I swung my fist in rage and stand my keyboard from its stand. Yeah. Oh, bored of this live broadcast, I'm gonna go. I'll watch a film or something. It's a boxing on tonight, so I've already watched, what, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've always watched four hours of boxing, and it starts again at two o'clock in America. So there's some world title fights in America. So, I'll be up till five or six this morning. So I think I'm gonna make use this time to um, make some recordings. Because at the moment, Sebastian, maybe the only person watching this, um, I have I've been doing more regular sessions. Let me bore you to sleep, let me bore your pain away. The hypnotic buffet is every Thursday. And Sebastian, I'm doing them for you. Not every Monday, rather. I'm doing them because you said you like them. Plus, people do watch them. And I did a my first long relaxation session for quite a while. So I want to start doing more of that stuff. And it's getting quite good because the the main podcast, which is the SoundCloud one, it's SoundCloud forward slash Jason Newland, uh, but also that SoundCloud is used for the i iTunes podcast, and it's you know it's streamed in different places, different platforms. So that that podcast is getting about 3,000 a week plays. And I'm now getting two, between two and 300 plays or downloads on my Spreaker podcasts. So everything's kind of growing. So I reckon if I continue to make more sessions, more regularly, um, I'll be heading towards about, yeah, by the end of the summer, I imagine probably about 10,000 plays and downloads a week. And hopefully by the end of the year, looking for about 20,000 a week which gives me, you know, over a year, a million a year, which is what I'm looking for. I want to be getting at least a million downloads and plays of my podcasts and audio sessions a year. Sebastian says, it's growing until you delete it all again, new land, when you'll ever have to learn to not do that, just don't. Read the, yeah, oh, you're right. Um, the one thing I never delete is, well, okay, never, but the one thing I generally don't ever delete is the main podcast. And I haven't deleted that for, I've had that podcast on SoundCloud since, not last October, since October 2016. And I've had about 150. 
55 or something thousand plays and downloads on there. So that's, you know, I'm keeping that going. The YouTube channels, I've got three. I've got rid of the Jason Chats one because I can't be bothered to make vlogs. Um, that's time I could be using for better things like reading a book or producing a hypnosis session. Um, so yeah, I've got the free Jason Newland's Relaxation Hypnosis YouTube channel, Jason Newland's Sleep Hypnosis and Jason Newland's Chronic Pain Relief Hypnosis. So I've got those three, um, so I'm just keeping going with that. I've been working a bit on my website, been changing some things getting a little bit less distracted with the podcasts because although it's really important to me it's also I, got, I can't allow anything to get in the way of me actually producing new sessions and I can get so involved in the website or you know that kind of stuff the creative side of things or the promotional side of things that I end up I can end up going weeks without producing anything sometimes even months it's really months but it definitely weeks so I'm just going to keep producing especially you know, new stuff and at the moment I'm focusing really on the brain so the hypnosis, the idea for me is focusing on asking the unconscious mind, dealing with that, to ask your brain to activate certain aspects of your, you know, the, the parts that the brain controls. And I've been doing some self-hypnosis regularly daily and trying to well just ask my unconscious mind to activate the part of my brain that's responsible for and then today it was kindness uh, mm. uh, yesterday it was something else I forget but I've done it for a few days and I just sit back just observe I observe with my conscious mind I allow my unconscious mind to do the work and my unconscious mind then just activates, triggers heals whatever you want to call the work that's being done my actual brain because everything, that every part of our body is activated by our brain. So I'm very interested in, in the brain at the moment. And I'm very interested, what I like is the idea that they can map a brain and then start to generalize for everyone. But everyone's different. And that's where they've come across difficulties, but then also solutions. So we're all mapped differently. There's certain areas where we're supposed to have these specific activations for various thoughts. Maybe someone laughing might have it in a certain part of their brain. I'm no expert on where it's supposed to be. But from what I've learned is it's different in different people. And by changing the activations by you know making more new neurological connections can transform the way you feel so I'm interested in that I'm also very interested in you know the brain elasticity the idea that the brain is always growing 
always developing, never stops developing, doesn't stop when you're 25. It's always developing. It may have reached a point of maturity at 25 compared to maybe when you're 18 or 17 or 12, but it's still developing. And the idea that we can continue to develop, I think it's quite fascinating. Plus, everybody, from my understanding, has issues with the brain. The brain has certain parts. Everyone's got certain parts that may be way more active than others. So that there's parts that, you know, from a scan look like it's got holes in. It might not actually have physical holes in there, but it's not, there's not a lot of activity in various places. And we've all got those to different variations. Of course, I'm just a lay person with this stuff and I find it fascinating and like a lot of people, I just connect the new information that I learn with what I'm interested in, which is hypnosis. And I understand that that would be no good if I was a, a surgeon or a teacher because, you know, clearly I'm not able to pass this information on in a academic way. But from a hypnosis way, to have trust in your unconscious mind, for me, is the, the heart, but is the, the main point with hypnosis is to actually have trust in yourself and you know the idea that all hypnosis is self-hypnosis kind of comes to the front it comes to I just think it's amazing to have a belief system because belief systems are so strong Belief systems can transform people's worlds and they, some people can do the most amazing things or not, you know, if you look at it from different angles, due to a belief, people overcome adversity, diseases, or they'll go and do something absolutely uh, terrible you know, that goes against any kind of human, humanitarian thinking due to a belief, so it can go either way. Depending on the person, I guess, and what their belief is. So belief is the strongest thing that we have. So if you can believe in your own ability to heal, in your own ability for your brain to start to function in a better way, a more useful, productive way, to fill in those gaps, to get other different parts stimulated, to be able to get more of a fast track neurological connection to that feeling of kindness or appreciation or generosity or just general well-being or self-love whatever feeling you have or you wish to have and the more you use those muscles those brain muscles the stronger they get so yeah I just think it's fascinating stuff that wasn't what this was about, but hey, just a, a kind of an update on what I'm doing. So I'm doing a regular sessions, the bore, let me bore you to sleep sessions, really are just that. A bit like this, me just talking about 
stuff that's probably boring to a lot of people and um, yeah that's the benefit of having a superpower which is boring people so I'm gonna go I don't know if, if anyone's actually watching this or anyone has watched it or anything like that but this was just a little update it was gonna be a um, <laughs> so this is going to be the title that Sebastian wants to put Newland has a psychotic episode having ideas that he is a professor in a university giving a lecture um, to nobody I'm not giving a lecture and I'm not it's all I'm doing Sebastian uncle is uncle, uncle Sebastian is now then now then as it happens I'm just trying to explain what I'm up to really that's all what I'm up to what I'm doing what I'm focusing on and some of the reasons behind what I'm doing but I also explained that stuff during the actual sessions as well so I'm gonna go and this has been a bit of a pointless thing I shouldn't have done this live I, I don't know why I should it's easier though because if I, if I actually make a video the video um, file is so large when I film it on the, the camera on the phone that it takes ages to upload and I've got nowhere to upload it to anyway because I don't put these onto YouTube um, I don't really make these kind of videos anymore I just focus on the audio sessions so hope everyone has a great weekend and all that stuff and hope you like my t-shirt look world's best ferret dad And uh, Sebastian sent me lots of kisses, which is, it's kind of nice, mm, but it's disturbing at the same time. He's getting a little bit carried away. I feel I'm probably the only person that actually does a live broadcast and invites my stalker to watch. I must be. <laughs> <laughs> very unusual so I'm going to go this was just me saying hi and I'm going to go properly now and watch television I can't believe I set my room up and moved my chair around for this but I knew the battery was about to run out so I had to do it over here and I've also got now got a my back is hurting because I'm sitting forward like that instead of back. Right, Sebastian, by the way, speaking of stalking just today, I've noticed you're living directly at... directly at the sea. Sea air is good for people in their 60s. 47. Till August. Forty bloody seven. I'm not sixty. Although the next twenty years between fifty and seventy are gonna be my most successful years. That's when I'm gonna be at my best probably when it comes to hypnosis and you know, recording and creativity. So best is yet to come so I guess the next two years is preparing for that and then maybe I can go on tour and bore people all around the world <laughs> go, go on a stadium tour and bore people wow can you imagine the drive home anyway 
Hi, hi Sue Thomas. I want to go now, so um, Bridget Leng. But people are coming now, people are actually watching after I've just, just the most amazing talk ever. Really is worth watching it back. I'll probably miss out the first half bit though. And Sebastian will be my opening act. I'll tell you what, mate, if you can put on put on a show in Germany and I'll come. I'll come and do my boring talking to people. Not in German obviously because I only speak one language. And that's this. Not particularly good at that either, really. So I think America is the place that I really, that's my biggest audience. But I've also got an audience worldwide, so I don't, I think England have got a sort of second, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, even Japan, China, not so much China, but a little bit more. Sue Thomas, how can I get your relaxation? I'm only sleeping less than two hours a night. I'm desperate for you. Oh, you're for my help. Um, if it, on my Facebook page, there's a link to my, um, I think the last session I did was asleep, uh, let me bore you to sleep, number 18, I think. I also did a relaxation session yesterday called The Brain Relaxes Your Body. Um, but the let me bore you to sleep, it's just me just talking, really boring, about nothing really, for 40 minutes, 50 minutes. Um, but there's a link. Uh, if you just go to my Facebook page, the, fa the page you're on now, are you on my Facebook page now? Because this is, and it's on there, it's one of the last posts I put on there. And it's, it's a SoundCloud post. If you just click on there, and that'll take you to my, or just go to jasonnewland.com. I'll type that in. Uh, how do I type? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I don't know how I type, how the hell do I? type a message anyway jasonnewland.com so j a s o n n e w l a n d dot com and the first page that you go to when you get on there that will show you and there's a list of hundreds of my sessions that you can actually play you can play them directly on there or you can go to the you know the SoundCloud and also at the top there's the it says SoundCloud and iTunes and it clicks to either of those podcasts so it's um, this is for Sue still um, that's probably the best thing I don't know how to how to actually oh yeah okay I'm gonna type it in So I don't know if that. Jason, I should, perhaps I should have put the W. Should I put the www dot? Uh, 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 uh. Thanks, I'm watching you live and I don't want to lose you now. Said, Sue, are you not on my Facebook? Um, as I said, if you, you can hear how boring I am now, so you can hear my boring voice. So imagine me 
being boring but not being able to see this amazing beard of mine. So there's no distractions. I don't get my ferret out. That's Andre. He's asleep over there. So there's no he's the picture on my thing. You can see a little ferret there. So it is very boring and uh, I've had a little bit of feedback saying that they're quite good so, or that they're quite helpful because they it's just me waffling on. It's basically, you know when you're listening to somebody and they're so boring and you're trying to keep your eyes open and you're trying and you're trying to stop yourself from yawning. By the way, if you push your tongue against the top of your mouth, that actually stops the yawn. But that's kind of what listening to me is like. On those sessions and you just you just you know and you've got your eyes closed anyway and the thing is it's progressive it's a thing if you watch them or rather listen to them every day you can watch them on YouTube as well the videos but there's just the audio converted to a video but you watch listen to them every day something happens, there's a change that occurs to the point where when you do want to go to sleep it's a lot easier. Sue says, yes I am, you'll just come up on my wall, that's all. I've tried every meditation and sleep app going um, but nothing works, you have a very soothing voice too. Oh thank you, thank you. Soothing, that's another word for boring isn't it? Not very, very boring voice. The thing is, with, with me, what I do is very different from what a lot of other people do. Is I produce a lot of stuff. I've produced over 800 sessions in the last 12 years. They're not all the same. Well, they're all different, but they're not all they're even the same format. Some of them are very... Some of them are short. Some of them are focused specifically um, on an outcome. Some are very vague. It's, you know, and the sleep sessions have been the most popular ones that I've done. But just just test them out. See, see something. Test to see what you like. Uh, it's nothing to lose, really. It's all free, and I'm just here to help. If I can, there may be background sounds and stuff, but that's because I'm not in a recording studio. Because if I went to a recording studio, I'd have to charge to cover the costs of that, and be, you know. So I do record on a little now. I record on a recording, a mini recording studio that I bought. But yeah, so that's it. I've run out of things to say now. So there's there's lots of lots of sessions. And I'm pretty boring in all of them, I think. So Sue says, I have NA fibromyalgia, chronic pain as well as other incurable illnesses, um, including insomnia. Okay, well, I've got, um, I've got quite a few sessions for chronic pain as well. And the, I started doing these let me bore your pain away sessions so I've done two of those did one yesterday and one a couple of days back and again it's about focus all hypnosis is is just focusing focusing or on my voice not even necessarily focusing on what I say although that can be useful but the more you focus for example if you're focusing on my t-shirt the more you focus on my t-shirt, the less you're focusing on other things. I know it's kind of obvious, an obvious statement, but it makes a difference. And sometimes it's easier so it's, than me saying to you, focus on something good or something that, that make, makes you feel happy. 
uh, your grandchildren or your children or your puppy, your puppies or your your husband or whatever. It could be your, your garden or television program you like watching or whatever it could be. So that's that's quite a bit of work if you're not in the right space. But if I just say just focus on my voice, it's the same result in a set, but it's a lot easier. Because firstly you're press the play button, so you already prepared to listen to my voice. And I'm just talking. So there's there's not really much effort on your part. It's just me talking. That's quite cool to have that, I think. It's not, not for everyone of course, but it's a choice. There's there's no you don't have to do anything. If you choose to press the play button, that's fine. And another thing, good thing about it is Everything I do is public, so there's nothing hidden. You can listen to the sessions, you can listen on your own, you can listen with a thousand people, you can listen to it when you're wide awake, and so you can hear exactly what I'm saying. So there's nothing hidden as far as what I'm saying. Of course, there's, I guess there's some certain techniques and stuff, but. The more you focus on my voice, or my t-shirt, or you know, whatever, you could be focusing on my glasses or my shiny head. So okay, I'll try and find you, I think I tried before, but the link didn't work, thanks. Um, so the, if you go to my website, I've basically embedded the SoundCloud podcast into my website and I've tested it on both a mobile phone or you know the iPhone and also on the laptop so it's working it should work fine and I'm also all over the internet so if you just search my name Uh, you can just search Jason Newland Google or Jason Newland Hypnosis or Jason Newland's uh, Hypnosis Podcast or Podcast, whatever, my stuff will come up. Or Jason Newland Sleep Hypnosis, Insomnia. There's a lot of things. I'm on a lot of different podcasts. Um, I get around. So that's it. Thank you, Sue, and I hope that I've made a bit of sense, a little bit. I try and make some sense at least, oh, once a week. I talk so much rubbish a lot of the time, but it's not really rubbish, but it kind of sounds like rubbish, but some of it is meaningful, and other is just something to maybe distract your conscious mind, maybe not. bottom line is how do you feel at the end of it it's nice you know how do you feel during but how do you feel at the end of the session that's where the that's where you get your result it's where you decide what to do next it's where you you know if you I've got a lot of people that keep coming back every day and listen, re-listening, listen to the new stuff because I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a quick fix, I don't do quick fixes, I don't really believe in quick fixes, for me it's, it's about continuous change and in order to fix somebody they need to be broken and none of us are broken 
injured maybe, but not broken. It was about healing, not fixing. Yeah, I think that's how I feel. So, there's no one watching now, so I'm going to go. Maybe someone will watch afterwards. Take care. My website is jasonnewland.com and this is my weekly hello update on what I'm doing. See you later. Bye, bye, bye.